this is Robert Frank, 615, and you're watching Muscle Sport TV, the most jacked and tanned show on the fucking internet. Hey guys, Steve here, 5% nutrition sponsored athlete, but today I am working for Muscle Sports Bag and Muscle Sports TV, Joe, Dave, first time in the UK. I'm here with the CEO and founder of the Pure Elite Physique, basically championships which is today. Stuart Armstrong, how you doing Steve, you alright? Not too bad, yourself? Yeah, good, good, good. So can you explain to me please? How long you been doing this for? It's yeah. different than just bodybuilding. Oh, completely, completely different. Um, and we're not trying to be like bodybuilding. No. Um, so, purely is a fitness model show. Um, a fitness model show sits in between a bodybuilding physique show and really like a beauty pageant. Um, and it makes no bones about that. That is where it's meant to be. Yeah. Um, you, you're not hiding anything. No, 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 you're not. No, not at all. Um, you, you've got categories such as fitness model, obviously not a model. Um, bikini Bay, but you have extra categories like ta tattooed muscle, which yeah. was something that we invented. There was no other show I knew that did a category just for people. Yeah. And you've been doing this for four years. Four years. And do you find it's it, you're an exclusive niche, or are you? It's a it's a massively massively growing niche. It is huge. Oh, huge. Like we're here today at the World Championships, and I'll tell you, there's how many how many competitors? Two hundred and eighty-two. There's competitors. my God. There's two hundred and eighty-two competitors. And we have the world champion here. Tell me your name, darling. Lauren Keneally. Lauren Keneally. She's the overall world champion from last year. And the year before. And the year before. Two years running, guys. Um, so how did you get started with this? Um, I originally got into fitness modeling um, just as a little bit of a challenge for myself, really, yeah. to see how far I could push myself. And then once you start getting the results, that's when the motivation increases and you want to keep on going with it. Yo, absolutely, and you don't, with, with I, I believe that this, you don't have to be a big, muscly, bodybuilding woman, you can have, get, you know, yeah, it's still feminine, it's, it's still feminine um, which I don't mind, we love, Muscle Sports Mag loves female bodybuilding, guys, we love it, um, so where do you see yourself going from here, do you see yourself, I don't know what the plans are for the PGM. Um, uh, uh, what have you benefited big, from? The big goal is to be a recognised athlete, um, I'm a respected athlete as well, and being able to inspire people on their journeys into fitness. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Like today, myself, I mean, we'll pass over to Stuart now, um, I've actually seen like women that are in their 50s, yeah. they've had a few children and they're, 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 they look incredible. Yeah. You know, and that's what I like to see. And I was having a chat with you earlier, and I was having a chat at the Olympia. Now, I went to the Olympia this year, guys, and I genuinely believe in the next couple of years, as much as uh, Phil Heath, uh, Joe will laugh at that, Phil Heath, right, that more aesthetic, we're looking for a more aesthetic look. And I believe in the next couple of years myself, because I, I, I compete, I mean, I'm 49 years old, and I've always gone on stage as a bodybuilder, but I've had Enrich, my boss, and a lot of other people having a slim waist and having that V taper yep. instead of having a gut that sticks out, yep. out to here. And a lot of the male and female competitors that I've seen today yep. have actually, they, they look phenomenal. Yeah, and I think, I think that's where, I think where, so where these type of shows have grown from is one, how unachievable it is to look like a current Olympic. Oh okay. yeah. No, so that's an unachievable. Well, yes. Right? For most people, for ninety-nine percent of exactly. people on the planet. Right. So, so you've got that. So if you are someone that's into fitness and you want to have a federation or a competition to enter and to showcase your physique, you need to go fitness world to start with. Because it, you, we're not looking for barrel abs. We're not looking for anything like that. No, this absolutely not. And I actually agree with you, yeah. Stuart. I actually agree that more aesthetic physique yeah. is more appealing. Um, but there's still a market out there for these big humongous oh, yeah, monsters to walk out yeah. on stage yeah. for little skinny fanboys to look but at. That's the thing, but the market is so big. I'll give you a stat. There's 8 million people in this country alone that have active gym memberships. That's, that's 8 million people just yeah. in the UK. Which in is the small, UK. Which is a small country that I'm saying, come do this show. Yeah. Like, you can't say that if you're an Olympian bodybuilder. I love bodybuilding. I love the Olympia. It, that is the elite of the elite. This isn't what that is. Well, no, I, I, hey, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I've seen some physiques today, and I'm sure you have, 
you're 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 one of the judges as well, are you I not, am. Lauren? Yeah, and I'm sure both of you. I've seen personally. I've seen physiques today that can actually go onto an Olympia oh, stage, yeah. and and if in they the, change their criteria and drop the barrel out. Well, no, 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 no. There's cla there's still classic physique. Joe, you hate classic physique, but I prefer a six pack and a V tape. Not like that. And you agree with me, all right? Um, I genuinely believe that it, this this kind of federation, and it is very busy today, that it will overtake in the next few years. It'll overtake bodybuilding and because it, it like like Stuart and Lauren have agreed that it, it, it it's more achievable. Yeah, it's not a niche, you know. It's You're, not a niche. This is about no. any person in the gym. Any person in the gym working out that looks fantastic, still busts their ass, still diets, yeah. still gets up That's, on stage yeah. in front of a bunch of people and works their asses off. All right. Um, I just want to just want to stress on that as well. So one of the things you are going to the gym, you are working just as hard. You're doing 16, 20 week preps. You're dieting. You're training. You're going sometimes two, three times a day. You're putting all that hard work in. It's not just like anybody can just go to the gym and come here. So it's a lot of sacrifice, but it's easier to achieve if you're prepared to do it. That's fantastic, that's fantastic. Guys, I want to thank Stuart and Lauren. What I'm going to say to you is, you can follow you can follow these guys on Instagram. Give them your Instagram account, honey. At Lauren-Keneally. At Lauren-Keneally, I'll put it on the post. I'll put it in the video. And this young man right here, this is, this is, this this is the band, all right. I'm gonna compete with these guys next year in the old bastards class, all right. You got it, now you said that. Uh, all right, yeah, yeah, no, I got it, yeah, yeah, I got yeah, yeah, it yeah. in the old bastards yeah. class. Um, but I want to thank you guys very much, uh, guys. That's a wrap for today. Have a great day. Back to you. Thank you.